anything we learn in our school days are basics which help us to make our base strong and uh, just like strong roots uh, can bear a tree strongly exactly in the same way a strong knowledge of maths clearing all concepts starting from the lower classes make a person expert in maths in higher classes too hi everyone i'm shufia and you are on cracky maths with shufia However, while doing maths in various exams like aptitude tests, competitive exams, entrance exams, where multiple choices are given, we can opt for a shortcut method or tricky method to save our time. But uh, it doesn't mean that without using shortcut tricks, we can't do any math problem. So viewers, we may have that potential to do maths within time without using any shortcut method too. So children, it's up to you which method is easier and time saving for you. And uh, as I already did uh, the chapter ratio and proportion, and um, I think uh, all concepts, all doubts related to that chapter are clear now. And remember, before starting doing any shortcut or tricky method, our concepts about the topic must be clear. So, what to say? Concepts clear. There is no fear. Okay, let's start. By the way, viewers, this channel and all its content is and will always be free of cost. All I ask is your encouragement and support and yes, I am very much grateful to all of you who are already served and watch my videos. I request to those who have not subscribed yet, please do subscribe to my channel to watch more of my content and don't forget to hit the like button too. Thank you so much. A is to B is equal to 2 is to 3, B is to C is equal to 4 is to 3, C is to D is equal to 2 is to 3. Value of A is to B is to C is to D is uh, four options are given. Uh, here um, I'm going to use a very interesting and shortcut method. So children, just follow me. How am I doing it? I will write here A B C D A B C D. Now I'll put the value of A is to B two is to three here two is to three B is to C four is to three here in the next line B C that means four. 3 c is to d 2 is to 3 in the next line c d that means 2 3 now we'll just fill up those uh, vacant places okay and with which number no need to think about that with just the number next uh, to the left or right of the um, this place you see here this uh, vacant places left side number is 3 so i'm putting it 3 and here this left hand side's number is 3 so i'm putting here also 3 here you see 3 in the right hand side i'm putting this 3 here this one is vacant place so i'm filled it up with this 4 so we should think the horizontal line about the row okay so uh, this uh, twos left hand side i'm filling with this 2 and this one is again with this 2 i'm filling up so now all are filled up so the thing is that now we will just multiply these numbers 4 2s are 8, 8 2s are 16, 4 3s are 12, 12 2s are 24, 3 3s are 9, 9 2s are 18, 3 3s are 9, 9 3s are 27. The, now this is the answer, sum is finished, khatam, you see 16, 24, 18, 27 and 16 is to 24 is to uh, 18 is to 27 yes not this one this one is the answer okay so our option is a question number two a sum of money is to be distributed among a b c d in the proportion 5 is to 2 is to 4 is to 3 if c gets rupees 1000 more than d what is b's share here you see two conditions are given so now i'm dhoilo share kita say 5x uh, 2x, 4x, 3x. Atya swa yate aru eta condition diya se. Question paar lagal lagay ami tatki ki diya se heito ami silom aru hei kita condition bebohar kori ami answer uli ailom. Yate second condition ki diya se C gets rupees 1000 more than D. 
that means it am condition to the it to C to D that means 4x minus 3x is equal to how much 1000 D as a to that is x is equal to 1000 to B share is obviously B share key hobo B share hobo 2x that means 2 into 1000 that means 2000 is B share okay so answer 3 is the correct option so I'm bubbling here how you got? How you got? Question number 3. If x is to y is equal to 3 is to 4, y is to z is equal to 8 is to 9, find x is to z. Four options are given. At the simple, just like question 1. So let's do is what I've got. Three variables are given here x, y, z. So I'm writing here x, y, z and x is to y means 3 is to 4. Next line y is to z that means 8, 9 and now i'm filling up this uh, back end places this one is with four and this one is with this number eight and next our task is to multiply eight three are 24 eight fours are 32 nine fours are 36 and now i'm solving it i'm simplifying it this six uh, we can divide it with six and this one is no we can divide it with four okay four six are 24 four eights are 32 four nines are 36 that means x is to y is to z is equal to how much six is to eight is to now in the question what's asked to find out x is to z that means x is to z is equal to how much six is to nine and again we can uh, simplify it uh, we can divide it by three three two are six three three are nine so this is the answer and our option 2 is the correct answer so i'm bubbling option 2 in is question number 4 the ratio of the present age of father to that of son is 7 is to 2 after 10 years their ages will be in the ratio 9 is to 4 the present ages of the father is here is given four options yes I can do it in one second don't you believe me 35 is the answer how can I say that so confidently yes look at this here is the trick this father's age must be a multiple of 7 and here 35 is the only number given which is multiple of 7 so father's age should be 35 years so number one is the answer and I am bubbling it but but if two numbers were given as uh, sevens multiple instead of one then in that case we should um, follow the usual method okay like following in the following I have done with usual method and the answers in both the cases are 35 years Question number 5. A and B together have rupees 1, 2, 1, 0. If 4 by 15 of A's amount is equal to 2 by 5 of B's amount, how much amount does B have? Okay. In this question, again, we'll use another shortcut method or time saving method, whatever you may say. Here, A plus B is equal to how much? 1, 2, 1, 0. A plus B is equal to 1, 2, 1, 0. Okay. Now, look at this here 4 by 15 of a is equal to 4 by 15 a is equal to 2 by 5 of b that means our a is equal to 15 by 4 into 2 by 5 into b and now i'm simplifying it 2 twos are 4 5 threes are 15 that means is equal to 3 by 2 b here from here we'll put this value of a to this one okay that means 3 by 2 B plus this B is equal to 1 2 1 0 implies 2 B plus 3 B that means 5 B is equal to uh, 2 1 set 2 4 2 0 and B is equal to your 2 4 uh, 2 0 divided by 5 so 5 4 is a 20 or 25 is a 40 25 4 sir 20 so 484 is the correct answer and which one is the 484 yes 
option 2 is 484 that means will bubble option 2 okay why girl number 6 two numbers are respectively 20% and 40% more than a third number the ratio of the two numbers is yes they are asking to find out the ratio of two numbers so uh, let me think to do it in an easy way let me think the third number as 100 and then according to question you see look at this our second number will be 120 and our this um, no third number is 100 that means first number will be 120 and second number will be 140 so ratio of these two numbers will be like this 120 is to 140 that means 120 by 140 which is equal to we know what will be the answer 2 6 are 12 2 7 that means 6 is to 7 will be the answer that means 4 is the correct option finished exactly we can do like this because they have not asked the numbers they have asked only the ratio so by taking this third number 100 we can do the sum question number 7 if x is to y is equal to 3 is to 4 then 7x plus 3y is to 7x minus 3y is equal to 4 options are given here um, we'll have to just simplify it so i'm simplifying it 7x plus 3y divided by 7x minus 3y and putting this value 3 is to 4 3 and 4 in place of x and y 3 plus 3 into 4 divided by 7 into 3 minus 3 into 4 so implies is uh, sorry is equal to this one is 21 plus 12 divided by 21 minus uh, 12 is equal to how much 333 this one is 21 minus 12 is 9 and we can reduce in its simplest form 3 we can divide it by 3 11 are 33 3 is a 9 so our uh, option is 11 is to 3 that means 3 is the answer question number 8 two numbers are in the ratio 2 is to 3 if 2 be subtracted from the first and 2 be added to the second the ratio becomes 1 is to 2 find the sum of the numbers okay let the numbers be uh, your 2x and 3x here one condition i have used and uh, i always tell you children how to form an equation simply by uh, uh, using the condition or conditions given in the question we won't have to think or we won't have to add anything extra apart from their condition uh, given in the question so in the second by using this second condition uh, we can write like this 2x minus 2 subtracted divided by 3x plus 2 is equal to how much 1 by 2 that means half implies 4x minus 4 is equal to 3x plus 2 just i'm simplifying 4x minus 3x means x is equal to 2 plus 4 means 6 so value of x is 6 and we'll have to find the sum of the number that means 2x plus 3x sum is equal to 2 into 6 plus 3 into 6 is equal to 12 plus 18 that means 30 so 30 is the answer and which option is there 31 okay so i'm bubbling option one